Hello, hello. I'm just changing some quick settings. But uh, today I'm going to be playing through uh, L.A. Noir to the best of my ability. I happen to have... Um, I happen to have been diagnosed with uh, Asperger Syndrome. It's quite difficult for me to read facial expressions, so I'm going to see how it goes playing L.A. Noir. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. City of Dreamers. A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. I've wanted to play this game for quite a while. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. There I am. KGBL calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective, an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. I guess he wants to play as if it's like... Well, have you ever tried playing Grand Theft Auto while actually obeying the traffic laws? I don't have to try about that because now I'm a cop. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Okay. I mean, the facial expressions are quite good, except the eyes. This the is eyes a fist don't. hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right. Have it your way. We'll up search up. right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Of course, it's locked to 30 frames per second due to the way that the uh, technology that they, that they used for the cameras to capture the faces. That must Look be, at uh, this junk. So yeah, so well, that's a bottle. Whatever. How do I pick up? 
pick stuff up. Oh, left it's not my job to pick through other people's Shrink trash. Says the mind is the final frontier. Okay. Maybe I should be using a controller. Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. And we try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hand. Chilled. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. Okay, the eyes are a bit better here. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot me. together. Yes, doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Wow. I have no idea what was going on there. We were just in an alleyway trying to find what have you got, a Phelps? gun, Anything? weren't we? Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Yeah, I'm on it. Uh, are you talking about the big blood stain on the wall? On the door? Hmm. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Now, where would I dump a gun? We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. Oh, was that for this? Okay. There's like a little chime. Ah. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Sweet. Don't hurt yourself. How did he? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Pretty athletic, Cole. Nice one. <laughs> They're running out of vision. All right, let's just get our dirty fingerprints all over this. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Oh, this is a bit awkward with the mouse. Oh, there we go. Smith and Wesson, serial S seven one eight nine three. Two rounds. Two rounds fired. Yep. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Well, he threw it up here, so he's not. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We I'm could get a commendation. Could sure. show some initiative, Ralph. See if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. No chin. Anyway, uh, clues. More clues. Are you 
you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that hey, uniform, brush, can probably you? Not useful. You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's uh, foot up my ass. escaped up here? It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Wake up, Cole. Probably. All I have is the blood stain and the gun at this point. Is it, what, what else could there be? Bullet, well, the bullet casings are still in the revolver. But it's saying that there's still a clue somewhere. And there's nothing else I can investigate there. Okay, fuck this. I'm just gonna go and go to the gun, gun store, I guess. This is any use to us. Wake it, up! It said Paul. the music was supposed to stop when all the clues have been collected. Oh well. Wake up, Cole! Yes, yes. Okay, Ralph. Well. Let's get back to it. Oh, sorry, I'm getting in on the British side. My bad. Stay on this road. Take a left here. Yes, sir. Really? Huh? Start it all. Next right. That is some pretty bad popping. Especially for a game that's default 30 frames. Go straight. It's gonna make my way down the tunnel. Driving fast. This is bad. You need to take the next left. This one. Turn left when you can. Turn left up ahead. Oh, nearly. Try not to damage it. Shooting gallery, open 24 hours. Central guns. Hello, sir. Can I ask you a few questions? Gold handled doors allow you to enter. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. Hmm. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. What did he say again? This is about something bad, right? Nickel-plated grips? Pearl something? Model 27 with pearl, pearl grips, grips okay. Cole. You uh, see it on there? Model 27. There's a 27. Walnut grip. Um, uh, 27 pearl grip. Who are we looking for? We're looking for an Errol Schroeder? We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South, South Glass Street. Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Okay. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. 
Always happy to help out the LAPD. You been, you been a sake cunt? Alright, alright, whatever. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Oh, I gotta get in, in on the Yank side. Okay, here we go. Where are we going? Do I have a map? I do. He's all the way over there, so... Uh, reverse, long, straight, left. Okay. One of the best handling for these guys from the 90s. I'm actually going where I think I'm going. No. Whoops. Oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, bump your car too. <laughs> now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal master. Okay, it's a bit. Most of them aren't. A bit more uh, responsive than I thought it'd be, and I've gone the complete wrong direction. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. You should take the next right. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of. Go straight through. Really? What? Can't I just go left and then down seven? Left and then left and then down seven. straight over the intersection. Take the next left. Turn left when you can. Perhaps one double this. Just uh make a quiet entrance. Come on. It's like weirdly responsive sometimes. I probably shouldn't think. Take the next right. Well, we got here in one piece and only bumped into like three people's cars. Does he live above Moxley's? Than that. 203, was it? Um, Schroeder, that's it. El Ellen Schroeder, Harbin 2. I've already forgotten his name. <laughs> Harbin 2. Wakey, wakey. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. 
You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight what kind with of your you gun. To? You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Uh, no you don't. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. <laughs> okay. You ready, tough guy? Uh, sure. Huh? What's up? You're going down, son. Okay. Ralph. Cole can fight. You all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Well, while we've got this Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. Oh, my. Yeah, no, no thanks. Can we look at his fridge? Or does it just want me to look at that apple again? Bro, you should wash up. No good to me. Uh, so you're a comic book fan? Nope. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, smoke cigarettes. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, oh, a book. Have a look, see. Um. Bunch of names and dates and numbers. List of names and a series of numbers. Who's Floyd Rose? Floyd Rose's name is in this book. I don't Phelps, know we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Well, that was, uh... Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but. Excuse me! Fuck you! Oh, you say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Well, not me then. Bye. What's next in this uh, glorious adventure? Oh, do I not see? Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake oh, Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. 
next right. Next right. on the suspects. Weapons on the ground. It, oh, now. he didn't go down. Oh, shit. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, fellas. How do I take cover? I don't know how to take we cover. We don't know how many are in there. E. Take Q. it slow. Space bar. Back Control. up will be here soon. Okay. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a, a chance. To... Chance, copper. You coming closer? Stay down. Why is nobody covering me? frames per second. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Nope. Should be all clear. Frame rate's not great. <sighs> Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime frames. you reach for the shotguns, gonna you're either going to end up there. dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. Glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Sweet. How many men did I just kill? I think it was five men. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. Okay. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? I'm not sure if Cole might be the kind of person who would get uh, Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, so it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Yeah, well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Uh -oh. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. <laughs> Wendell Bowers! Yeah, Stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourselves. Why, you! Watch it! Jump space bomb, hopefully. He's oh, no. hiding in the alley! Bowers! Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, son! Watch your fire! You don't want to do this, Wendell. Oh, you just hold W. Get down from there right now! 
Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Oh, oh, oh you. I'm up. You. You've got to be kidding. You fucking asked for it. <laughs> Come in. There's no way I'm going back inside. I feel like they teleport them a few feet ahead. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Now, this fat bowling man is very athletic. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Yes, we have. Get up. You gonna stay down now? Oh shit! <laughs> Whoops! Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? He's not dead, is he? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, shouldn't have run. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10, Franklin, 8, Weiss, 8, Donahoe, 6, Kowalski, 6, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 2, uh, Leadership, Kelso Donahoe, 8, Franklin, 7, Merrill, 6, Kowalski, 6, Weiss, 5, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get Don't. involved in the schoolboy uh. chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Was that a smirk on Cole's face? You goody little two-shoes, Cole. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one oh, goal. Oh, no. Broad daylight shooting. Around the corner. This guy must be, uh... LAPD! Could you stand clear of the body, the please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Fuck okay. it. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. This is gonna, this hey, looks Cole. suspicious. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. Your first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Like last week, I, I hey, beat I, a guy to death and then punched him off the... Everybody uh, stay back. Let us do our job. Pushed him off the building, and now I'm... Broad daylight. <laughs> so I just the street. To over the course. I've seen everything. <laughs> okay. Um, let's look at this pocket. What have we got here? Um, so some pearl earrings for fifty-two and a half bucks. Okay. C Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings made out to Bank of Arcadia. Okay. So this man bought some pearl earrings. Oh no, no, wait. Oh god, I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna have a look at that again. It's probably written in my notebook now. So, um. See, I need to talk to a seagull letter. I'll probably find whoever that is. I'm guessing it's a woman. She's buying. Is she buying pearl earrings? Or is. Was this guy selling them? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who all, the, all these people are as well. I'm 
what, what they're buying. Um, we got anything? Oh, I can just. Oh, I don't have to use the mouse. Okay, good. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Nothing unusual on the hands. Uh, top breast pocket or face, I suppose. Nothing unusual here. Can I not? Is there not anything in this pocket here? Okay. Well. We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Yeah, okay, fair point. Um, Tell me what's going on. Oh. I know, that's not what I want to do. Wait, can I? <laughs> okay. Um, what was this? Just like... Ah, casings. So is this guy using a semi-automatic? Shell casings. These look like 32s. Okay. And there were five of them? Yeah. Just walk all over those, why not? Um, can I ask any of these people? I don't mind that you're talking, so long oh. as you don't mind that I'm not listening. Okay, yeah, semi-automatic. Let's have a look at that serial number. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Hmm. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Sweet. Don't I... you people have anything better to do? Can't talk to any of these. They're not witnesses, they're just looking at these, I guess. That was the casings. Am I missing something on his person? This pocket here? Oh wait, yeah, of course. Yeah. Why am I not? Why is he giving up? Hey, I think I see a body. Is that not something I can investigate? Or is there just nothing there? So, will fade down when. Oh, yes, that's what I want. Clue hints, yes, please. And action skip. Uh, that, I, I've heard that only happens when you fail too many times. So, I kind of want the clue, clue music to fade. It means I found it if it's right. Maybe there's something inside the building. It's just this, right? Let's. Can't investigate that further. Doing. So I thought there'd be something about this pocket. Because he moves his hand towards it. I'm not pressing anything to cancel that. Maybe he just. Maybe there's nothing there. Okay, let's go talk to this person. You look like you were a big pain in the neck. Oh, uh, can, I, can I help you, sir? Yes, yes, you can. Probably nothing. Okay. You haven't even opened it. How do you know? I'm Officer Phelps. Oh, hello. Miss, I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. Everett Gage. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. That wasn't the... That wasn't the name, was it? Witness details... Yeah. It's a, it's a lovely drawing, by the way. Impressions on the right. Yeah, okay. Um, can I not uh, see Galetta? So this woman has bought some earrings. Now he's been shot with an FN Browning handgun. Okay. Do you think you could what tell me exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. 
I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's telling me what to do. Yeah, she's not making eye contact. She's uh, furrowing her brows. You're lying, but I don't know why. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell oh, wait. me. Um, There's nothing to tell. Yeah. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? There's this voucher that's made out to you. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole ah, year. Someone else been Stop lying. That's where the other... and tell me what happened at the jewelry yeah, okay. store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Okay. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. How many times? He threw the gun in a bin and okay, turned. Okay, so you did see it. And walked away. It's telling me to doubt, so. She's using that biting tongue thing, avoiding eye contact. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. Oh. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Hmm. Well, mm. you have something of a Damn. selective memory, Miss Galetta. They won't endear you to any police officers I know. How can you say that? I want to help, officer, really. But it's all just a blur in my head. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. I, well, I'm not sure if she was telling me. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Can I... <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. Oops. Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Okay. Um, well, there's no more key music, but that might just be because... Oh, we have the murder music. weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Tate, maintain the perimeter. Okay. We're not going that. Yeah. Hey, I, I think those? I see a body. Ah, they're the casings again. Okay. Let's go to the gun store first. What? 
Uh, okay. Ex uh. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. What? Has it just restarted the whole bloody thing? What did I run over? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's... Oh, that's annoying. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Oh, now I've seen everything. Okay, well, yeah, let's check this pocket. We'll see... See the letters. Bought some earrings. Wait, did I actually do that for long enough for it to register? There we go. Okay. Yeah, see letter. letter. See letter. Earrings. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Oh, for God's sake. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. I reversed the wrong way down the bloody street. Something. Who knows? I think that was the only piece of evidence that I found on this guy. Unless this was bugged and I can't open that pocket for some reason. Um... It keeps telling me to examine stuff more closely, and I'm not sure if there's any way that I can do that. No, these this seems inconsequential as arms. There's nothing nothing going on there. Nothing on his face. I never get in a fight with ugly people. Bristol, I mean, nothing I can't flip him over on his back, can I? Whoops, excuse me. Casings, five casings. Shell casings. These look like 32s. And go to the other. FN Browning. Model number 0111. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. So it is. All right, so, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. At this point, this guy I in be? the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. Ah. You better take a statement. Don't you people have anything better to do? Uh, this guy? Or this guy? All these cops, it's got to be something big, right? Oh, it's Sir, I'm it's Officer it. Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Oh, okay. In um, all my years, I've never seen anything like this. Right. So, before, she said that she went in before Mr. Gage. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. Did I not just... If you think she's lying, don't oh. be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Okay, okay. Hey, I, I think I see a body. Yes, it is a body. He is dead. So yeah, now the clean music has uh, gone. Can I, can I help you, sir? I'm sure I tried to go and I'm talk Officer to the... Officer Phelps, um, miss. I'm here about the shooting. ...witnesses before. The people outside. I thought, I thought they were just looking at the victim? They didn't prompt me to talk to them. <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. There's no way I can speak Everett. This, and you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Galleta, okay, not Galleta. Well, what do you see again? Well, I already know this is going to be a lie, and then she's going to tell the truth. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage... My boss bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Yep, 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 yep. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? You know why it happened? Because... 
Your oh, pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Mm -hmm. Do you know who did Which it? Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Mm -hmm. Details of shooting. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what the uh, subtle differences between her facial expressions when she was telling the truth or not. She just looks upset, really. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. That's what I got too. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Well, I'm been kind very of glad brave. That I accidentally failed. We'll to need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my, oh. my, your pearl earrings? Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Okay. Well, let's go to the gun store. Uh, properly this oh, time. Oh my dear. Yeah, what's up, bro? We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Okay, right. Let's not fuck this up. Hey, I, I think I see a body. Gun store first. Unless. Not going to the jewelry store is going to give the guy time to escape. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens. This time, instead of whoa, instead of reversing, I'm gonna drive him straight through the intersection. Go straight over the intersection. Take the next left. Okay. So Anti-Semitic jewelry store owner shot another jewelry store owner uh, in broad daylight, cold blood. Gun store right next to a liquor store. 
Oh, it's around the corner, okay. Yeah, gun store right next to the, the, the liquor store, that seems um, like a really, really good idea. Anyway, let's go in and talk to this guy. Officers, what can I do you for? Well, Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Okay. It's thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. <laughs> And he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. New slips, sink ships. Okay, well. So we know that um, Ed owns this gun. He have it, had it serviced for some reason. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Holding up traffic here. Take the next right. Sorry, guys. down as the murderer. What do you say about that? He's got some customers. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? What, who, what is she looking at? What is... <laughs> just menacing. <laughs> okay. Call you fucking creep. How do I... Officer Cole Phelps. Are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Bullshit. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! You're gonna get away. I'm hoping this guy isn't armed. That'd be unfortunate. For me. Kalu! Get back here! Shooters all around. Cancel day. Uh, wait for Too late, uh, Kalu! Please don't get hit by a car or something. Don't make it worse, Kalu! There he is, Be officer! Careful. He looks dangerous. If I shoot him in the leg, what would happen? Oh, is he oh. oh god. Yeah. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. We got him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I set the line wrong. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. 
How so, would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. Hmm. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. Probably it Takes not. a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Mm, no, I'm well How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. What? I've never heard this of is your chance. Before. Don't fail me. Oh, trust me, I'm gonna fuck everything up. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. So, why were you arguing with Gage? You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Okay. Well, I know you're lying. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Well, we have... Oh, okay. Uh, what are we... Um, we have someone who puts you there at the scene. We have a... Okay. Hmm. She saw you. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. <laughs> I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Yeah, okay. Let's change the subject. Speaking of Jews. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh... What was this about? I don't remember where we got this. But you, you are... You are full of shit, my good... My sir. Um, well, yeah. Lie. Lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I think it's this one. I'm done with you. Oh wow! Go flap your I gum suck. somewhere else. I want my lawyer. Fuck. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Yeah, I did tell you. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Am I just redoing it? Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. I'm, I'm just you shot a man it. dead in cold oh, blood. For God's You're sake. going to have to pay for that. Okay, yeah. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, bullshit. Because we have a witness. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Um, we know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? 
You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's I'm change the subject. Motive. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. I don't have any proof, then. There must be doubt. You left-wing-leaning <laughs> parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! Wow. You and that stump Gage! Why did Jeez. you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. Wow. May God have mercy on you, sir. I just learned a whole bunch of very old anti-Semitic insults. Masterfully done, Officer Wonderful. Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Yes, sir. Wow, okay, well I completely fucked up twice and... Up. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner. Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. Burkowski. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, Detective. <laughs> He's an intense one, isn't he, oh, Mel? Who's tight. intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole oh, Phelps. My. Hi, Phelps. <laughs> I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is That's a movie star. That's what a movie star. star looked like in 1927. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. Okay. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. I'd rather not. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. Right. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda, 
A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Okay, suspicious Come vehicle. Come on, Phelps. Signs of foul play. Oh, that's the guy that couldn't bother to do anything, right? Do you think this lipstick's too light for my complexion? They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Uh, Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Looks fine. If anything, it could be a bit more light. <laughs> Canary says he'll sing. Only if I guarantee um, um, he won. <laughs> that was unnecessary. You know this place? That big sure. Case. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. <laughs> Straight through at the next junction. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and 7th. So, Any tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Rakowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Here on the beat. Is that one of the islands? Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs Oops. on this hill in Okinawa. Jesus. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag. Knife between your teeth. Gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Oh, yeah. great. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Now, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. What's on the way? 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 right suspect just left 6th. Masked gun. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Oh, I can I can headshot this fool from here. What? Who is he shooting at? Sorry, Mikowski. So do the suspect. Can I just blow his brains out? Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Where is he? If I was this... Oh, he's not getting in a car, is he? The ball caps this guy. Hurry! You can still catch him! I think you broke my nose! Oh, hello. Son of a bitch! I'll take it! Shoot his knees out. I did kind of want to blow his brains out, but uh, we cannot. We need to identify this guy and put him behind bars. This isn't Okinawa. Oh fuck, he is dead. Oh well. I put a round in his back and in his shin, and he's dead. Did I fuck that up? Okay. Well, it says street crime complete, so. You're behind the wheel. Oh! I can make them drive! Oh, okay, right. That makes life easier. If I hold E, I can make them drive. Just like a taxi. I might just do that from now on because that would make my life a lot easier. Now, much less likely to uh, damage city property. That you, Bukowski? Yep. Go on through. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Parking lot straight cars. ahead. So. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. Yeah. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Hey, buddy, you're probably getting paid. 
just to talk to the cops and stand around doing basically nothing, so... Although you did have to look at a very bloody car. Hmm. This is your Swings first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Okay. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I'm probably gonna need it. Not the best at reading faces. But, uh... We'll see. Hello. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. Nate Wilkie. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Okay. Um, nice day for do I it. Talk to him first, or should I have a look around the car? How long you gonna you keep me here, corridor. sir? I better get back to work, sir. Let's have a look in the boot. Uh, no blood on that weapon, so either it's been cleaned. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Okay. Could it be pig's blood in that in the front of the car? And is that a weapon at all? There's no dent. Incidental. No. Okay. Just something to fix the uh, fix the tires, I suppose. How's the world looking? That is a fucking lot of blood. Ah, always the same to Way too blood. much blood. How about you? It's like someone exploded the victim in Victim looks, looks to have lost a lot of blood. Lie. Yeah, I'm thinking joker say it's pig blood. Soil. My guess? Big lump of shit. Are you the coroner? Can I talk to you? Space Doc? Talk. Okay. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. Mm. The victim must so be in a very thinking. bad way. How would you even get Any that sign much of the blood? Guy? Not unless he's in the Out trunk of the person. car. No, he's not. Um, are there any more bits of evidence lying around? Yes. Just gonna gently jog over here. Got another? Is that another tyro or a pipe? Ah, this one does have blood on it. Okay. Oh, it's gotta be something big, right? Insta heat. I saw a brand name might give us something to go on. Uh, Van. In the beginning mission, uh, the big red one. I think it was Insta heat. Anyway. Okay, so. What's this over here? Is that a book? No, glasses and a book. Okay. Let's have a look at this. After this, I got two more jobs. Wallet, not Park and one up in Hollywood Hill. Okay. Um, Adrian Black. Ouch. Well, we've got his, got his address. He's about my height. He's a bit older than I am. Um. Happier times, I guess. Can I look at the back of the picture? No. Okay. Adrian Black. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Hmm. Okay. And the glasses. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of oh, it. Oh yeah, he's got a Harry Potter thing going on, hasn't he? Yeah. Need some Oculus repairs. Is that everything? Yeah, music stops. Let's go talk to Nate. Was it Nate? Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. Yeah, okay. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Yeah. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mm -hmm. Why were you here? Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Obviously you work with the train. Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. You are stone-faced. You're a man of honor. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. 
Okay. Do you know Adrian? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Okay. I believe you. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. Yeah, plus the blood, you know. Okay. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Is that the same face again? I'm telling the truth, my dude. When you saw the blood, be. was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Mm. Um, the wallet by money? the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Uh, yeah, yeah, you've got a bit of a smoke going on. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Fair enough. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. Same. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. Okay. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Yeah, good idea. Well, let's go over to Adrian's house. Set that as a destination. And uh, I really don't feel like driving, so... Um, Bukowski, you can do it for me. Hold the E. Yeah, I just did that. Hold the E when it's over here for me to get fun and drive. You know the way. You can drive. Oh, thank God. Driving at 30 frames per second with a, with a keyboard instead of a controller is not good. <laughs> I guess we saw how the shooting went, or at least... Yeah. I also probably should have put this on the SSD and not the uh, external hard drive that is only USB 2.0. Okay, Adrian. Um... Well, we haven't found a body yet, so it's just a missing persons case. At Let's go moment, introduce right? ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Can I be a... Oh. Uh, Cole, please. No, he wants... To, yeah, he wants to go this way. Just a minute. Yeah. Hello. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, this is this is the, this is. The, oh, we can so discuss far, this in the living room. Please come in. Okay. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black. That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. Mm. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe Injured. on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! That much blood. My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Okay, okay. Let's, well, let's uh, check the place of all, out. Is she wearing her ring? I can't see a ring. Why is she not wearing a ring? Okay. Are you guys happily married? Because that live hog receipt and the copious amounts of blood in that car, and no body. Have a good look around. No There's blood marks, no trail go. from the car. I think that Adrian is trying to disappear. Never look in your wardrobe? Why have you got there? Hmm. Does the mirror work? It does! Oh, it's so res low resolution. Can 
I flip this over? Open it up? No. Okay. So is Alligator for show then? Oh, matchbook. Uh, bar that he frequents maybe? Kavanaugh's. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? It's gotta be a matchbook, right? Kavanaugh's. We should go with it. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. R and I. Records and investigations. Okay. Now I use a phone at some point. It's over here. Glasses. Oh, we found some glasses. Uh, this must be Adrian's. Can I open it up and see what the brand is? Stenzel. That was it. Yeah. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Not entirely sure what that means. Might as well have a look at this uh, happy, smiley Adrian. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. Um, what gives here? Yeah, well, whose room are we in right now? Are we in... If we're in Mrs. Black's room... It looked... Oh. Are they packing? Railroad... Oh no, railroad ticket. When's this for? A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. <laughs> Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Yeah. They are not happily married. She's not wearing a ring. Signs of packing, missing suitcase. Okay. I think I have some idea of what's going on. There's another one of those. Insta heat. Let's have a look at the receipt. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. By an M Ryan. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Good idea, Bukowski. How about it? And while we're here, we might as well get ourselves a heater. So. Ten year guarantee. Okay. 20 gallon tank? Incredible. Sign me up. Was it 82, 82 bucks? Um, the, uh, yeah, because he. Excuse me. Oxydol? It's gotta be nothing, right? Doesn't look like anything. Yeah, what's this? Can I pick that up? Optimistic call. Well, let's have a look outside. Kitchen window, so it should should just be. Is there anything of importance? No. Nope, nothing of importance. Well, here's the wait. Wasn't it just installed two days ago? Why? No use leaving the thing half finished. Oh god. Um. Hmm. Might go there. Missing one. I'm missing that one with the blood on it, the valve on the right hand side. Yeah, of course. So it is there. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is but the same one that killed him. All of it. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. So, did she have anything to do with it? Is she in on. Well, my theory is that he's having a. Dis he's, he's doing a disappearing act. Oh, these are probably not important. Gardening tools in a garden. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what other. Ah. We could. No, we can't leave this woman here. Operator, message for KGPL. 
Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Wonderful. We've got the address. Thank you. I'm sure when I looked at a picture of... Uh, whatever her name is. It did that thing that said I could zoom in. So, is this her room? Yeah. There we go. Can I not investigate further? No, I guess not. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out whose room this is, because if this is Adrian's room... If this is the woman's room, then why does she have a picture of herself and a bunch of... Yeah, like, um, perfume and stuff. This must be her room. She has a picture of herself. So I find that odd. Yeah, okay, now it's now it's giving me. Love sick and home lonely without you. To my Adrian. Hurry, my darling. This thing oh. gets more and more interesting. Hurry back. Is that where the train tickets to? Alienist Fontaine provides help to troubled vets. Oh, another one of these, okay. Lie down, Is make yourself like the comfortable. Big so, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. Sounds like PTSD. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I'm going to give you something to calm your nerves. A bit dodgy. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. <laughs> Major creep. Mentally crippled soldiers find relief in their clinical treatment. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's the only room I've not had a look around. Someone's a smoker. Yeah, we've already... We've already seen this, haven't we? Yeah. Music stopped. Okay, let's go talk to Mrs. Black, I suppose. I'm alright now, detectives. Yeah, wonderful. How do I... There we go. Okay. Um, slaughterhouse receipts. Yeah, we found a thing for a... We found a receipt a pig. in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. Okay. God knows what he's up to. Um. Yeah. She, she, yeah, she just, she's concerned. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. <laughs> Okay. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? <laughs> Adrian practically lives there after work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, 
He's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Location of Adrian Black. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. No. No. Yeah, she's just worried, I think. So nothing out of the usual, then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Okay, stencil glasses case. I'm not entirely sure. Was what your this... husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Oh right. Yes, he just bought a new pair. Hmm. Yeah. Go on. Okay. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Well, he bought a new pair and he left the old ones. Um, have you got an alibi? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your dead. movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Hmm. Less concerned on her face. No, a bit more. Yeah, she's... She's got to be telling the truth, right? Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I I was here alone. I reckon that Adrian Black was counting I cooked Adrian's that. dinner and waited. Counting on the fact that but he never alone. came home. Now, oh, what's her name? What's your ma Oh, your name's Margaret, but... Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, who's this Nicole? Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Yeah, now... Now I know you're full of shit. I think. I'm not sure. No. Maybe she's a... There's plenty to tell. Think, you just yeah. won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. <laughs> but I guess you know that. Yep. Sorry. I told you what I know about the picture. Well, we found a message on the back. My what darling. about Nicole, mm. Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. Yeah, I think he has left you already. He thinks I'm stupid. S sorry, Maggie. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. We'll keep you informed. Six Mrs. Black. out of six? Well, she was really honest. Please do, She's detective. She's just a, a worried wife that's just... Yeah. Okay, now, um... Where are we going? We can, I think we can either go to the bar, or we can see this Frank Morgan person. Oh, no, we don't know where Frank Morgan is yet. So let's go to the bar. Adrian's frequent bar. Adrian's local. You can drive. Can you drive to this one? Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. Yep. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Okay, cool. <sighs> right. Where are we going now? I've already forgotten. Bar. Kavanaugh's. Kavanaugh's. Very early in the morning. These guys are going to be a few characters. This guy, how? Is hey, he... I know you. No, you don't. 
Where's that guy? We were at work? school together. How, how about you buy me a drink for, for all time's sake? Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy, but it's not gonna happen. I'm, uh, I'm on duty, and you. That's the guy. It's 11:30 a.m. Looking for someone. Yeah. I can't decide right, between the tuna fish and the chicken. Excuse me, sir. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Right. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Check. J.W. Robinson, you, Frank? Sale. Frank Morgan? Don't you know? Who's asking? Hello. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Hmm. You don't seem too uh, broken up about that. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot. Covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. <laughs> Thanks, Bukowski, but I, yeah. Look at this fucking. I'm so clueless. Look on his face. Yeah, you're full of shit. You're I mean, lying, Morgan. You were there. Because there's a And you're talking out your ass, Detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? I can't prove that you were in at the rail yard, but I think that you, yeah, the, yeah. You were there, Morgan. Signed by this we guy. found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Do you know where he is? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Oh shit, I don't remember what the train ticket was. Um, train ticket. Los Angeles to Seattle. Um, I don't think he's telling the truth. Because he has to have had something to do with it. If he's the one that got the pig, he must know something. But I don't have any evidence against this, do I? Benedict, no. No. Just this. But it, it was used, and in the past, right? That's when he went to meet Nicole, I guess. And now he's done a proper runner to Seattle. Unless... Unless he's not gone yet. Oh, God's sake. Okay, d let's go doubt. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Well, we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. <laughs> He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows uh, down. Yeah, okay. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. Sweet. Thanks, Frank. You've been uh, I think that's all. Helpful. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, <laughs> let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. He just refuses to accompany me um. to church. Okay, yep. Where you go? You got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. Yes, please. Where's that goddamn wait? You can drive. Yeah, I don't feel like driving. Thanks. KGPL calling car 11K. 11 King, come in. 11 K, go ahead. Message from technical services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Yeah, Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. Time to reel this guy in, folks. Should cut some fingers off. Made, a, made it look, look like more of a struggle. I guess fingerprints weren't really a thing back then, so... I don't know. Let's go meet... Uh, well, let's check the place out. Let's say hello Fuck. to Adrian. F. Morgan. Second. 
Apartment 2. Mm -hmm. Uh, Adrian, hello. Peace Help you gentlemen. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Oh. Look, I'm really sorry about you look this. Better in your pictures. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Oh, Jesus. Remember, the gun is going up or down. Door. I don't know if we're going up or down. There's no point running, Adrian. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're going down. Oh. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no, come on. Sorry, he should be. Stop right there, Adrian. Did you get him? How did he? I don't know where he went. I think Bukowski got him though. No, Bukowski did not get him. Ah, uh, please tell me I can repeat that. Please don't send me back somewhere like far away. Just go back. To... Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Help you, gentlemen. Can I skip this? LAPD detectives, Mr. Guess Black. Not. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. Yeah, 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 bullshit. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. Uh, nice new uh, glass of the. Oh. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. No, you're going down, Phelps. Yeah. Where is he? Has he gone up? I don't know where he is. What? What? <laughs> where is he? Oh, for fuck's sake. Mm. Did Help I run you gentlemen? past him or something? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, this is going to get real annoying. I'm really sorry about this. Oh, I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away yes. from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. He's... He must be climbing up. Yeah, there, no oh, there running, he is. Adrian. God's sake. Who's fast? Don't want to shoot Mr. you, Mr. Black, Adrian. get back here right now. I want to put you behind bars. It's over, oh, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Why not just come not clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. I feel bad for Nicole and Maggie. Poor women. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, <laughs> and you could go a long way in this department. Thanks, I guess. It was really easy because there was one... There was, well, Margaret was very honest, except for the picture, the text on the back of the picture. And um, Frank was just a fucking absolute liar. Oh my god! It's practically perfect. But yeah, sweet. Very happy with that. Whew, was that my first case in traffic? Hmm. Consul's car. Okay.
Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. Mm -hmm. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Yeah, okay. Abandoned vehicle. Talk to an Oswald Jacobs in. Better go earn our pathetic Jacobs wages. Backyard. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. Oh, it's yeah, of course. It's the only destination we have. It has to be the place we go. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? <laughs> Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. This is our car. You're on fire today. Oh, wait, no. Very funny. This is our car. Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. You can drive. Anytime. Anytime you feel like turning up. You hear about Adrian? Broad in Seattle threw him out. Wife says she's going to take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. Really up this guy's ass. <laughs> I mean, the car. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. Okay. What have we got here? I see a baseball bat. And missing. We one. got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacobs bird over there was on station before I got here. Bird. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure. Take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch, anyway. All right, um, evidence, evidence, evidence. Well, the baseball bat comes to mind, but no one said anything about foul play. So this is, I mean, it's just a yard, right? So Nothing significant. Fair enough. All right. here. Missing plates, okay. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Hmm. Missing tire? Or well, missing wheel, I suppose. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Okay. And what are you looking at? A baseball and a cup. Surely not, neither of these are. I don't think so. Yeah, not do I. But you're taking pictures of them anyway, just in case, right? Not everything here is going to be relevant. Looks like that was signed at some point, but it's faded now. Oh well. Let's uh, check the boot. Empty. There's a toolbox. But sure, empty is fine. What do we got here? Um. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Wow. Consulate General of Argentina. Sweet blah blah blah. We got a location. At some hotel. I guess. Taking the tires off of this. Oh. oh, oh, can I do the zoom, please? We're we gonna. Can we. Can we do the zoom? This is probably much easier on a controller. Oh, oh, nearly had it. Where am I going? 
Come on, please. Are you, oh man, this is... Just zoom in. For God's sake. Oh, he just does it straight away. Okay, cool. Combination wrench. I still have to use it to remove the wheel lugs. Do you got this? That card? Okay. See anything? The early bird gets this is a one. crime scene. All of you move along. No, I don't need a bottle. The clue music is still going, so. Oh, wait, yeah, of course. I can probably ring up that hotel. Let's try that. Hand just casually going through it. As you do. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics oh. workshop. I was thinking the hotel. One moment. Sure. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Sweet. Got Thanks for your help. Uh, we still got clues somewhere. Tricycle? No. Ooh, physics. Time we talk to uh, this guy over here. Oswald Jacobs. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. <laughs> I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. <laughs> Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Okay, what'd you see? Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Okay. You are very stone faced. So I'm gonna believe you for now. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, <laughs> sir? No, I do not. <laughs> Who were these Hispanic suspects? After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. <laughs> okay. Um, you didn't go anywhere near the car. Well, I've got no proof of you going near the car, so it's just got to be doubt. Look at that smug face. You went out to the car. Once oh, they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't no law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. All right. Tell me about the car they were driving. Ford, right? It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Mm, now, you've, now you've got Mr. Stone-Faced. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. Uh, You're right there. Buttering him up. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. Okay. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. Well, the boot was empty. And you've gone back to being a smug dick again. Okay. The only thing that was taken was the tires. What about the license plates? I don't know if that was... Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, he made this face when I doubted last time, so that's good. Right. 
So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. Okay. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Right. Gotcha. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, if you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? <laughs> you could, uh... How many broken windows have you got? One? It's a big house for this one guy. All right, um... What are we doing now? We're, I have no idea what's going on. We need to go to... I guess we have to go to Dewey Bros. Actually, can I talk to Bukowski for a sec? Because I, I, I got so invested in this old guy. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, I can sprint again. You're behind the wheel. Can't be bothered to drive. Okay, so... This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. There's... Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Oh, I think I fucked up. I got distracted and I didn't get the book from the old guy, Jacobs. Ah, oh, shit. Can I leave here and go back and get that? Maybe? I hope so. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> uh, I hate you already. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. Okay, That's done. me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. Bucko. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. You're still speaking as if you're trying to sell me a car. You know what? Let me see if I can ditch this. Go back to Jacobs. Because I kind of fucked up. Uh... Do we your keep job. Our tools in here. I'll do mine. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure the old man, Jacobs, uh, said that I could get a book that he took out of the glove compartment from the, um, uh, the car. Not the Ford. The Packard? Or is that the name of the, was that the name of the tool? I don't remember. Anyway, let's go talk to the old man again. Give me that book. Told me there was a book on your po oh there it is okay red book yeah 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 good okay glad I didn't miss that got distracted who have we got um oh Jesus a lot of names okay so we have the owner of the vehicle a degenerate I'll run John Madsen by R and I John Madsen. Ah, uh, we... okay. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are these? This is a weird book. Henry Grove, nice eyelashes. Stanley and Mercer, lovely speaking voice. Um, Sammy Muller, needs a little coaxing. 
Freddy Applegarth likes cherry flavored candy. What the fuck is this shit? Whoa, 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 whoa. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Timothy Stobo, slim hips, darker looks, particularly shy, likes gifts, very innocent, very pale. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Weird Old Man. Oh no, this is not the old man. This is the uh, this is the book that he take, took out of the glove compartment. Okay, that's worrying. I don't know what that's about. Phelps, badge number something. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. Seven. Okay. How can I help, detective? Can you put me through to Michigan twenty-four fifty-eight, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's that school officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned sixteen. Okay, now I'm even more worried. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. Is it the four-door Packard diplomatic license number Paul Robert 706 was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Juan Could you have him brought Francisco in? Valdez. He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding <laughs> an audience, as he calls it. Okay. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, let's... Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, detective. Let's get back to Central. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. Let's go to Central, and then... Drug two was it? Juan Valdez. Okay. I want to know what that little book was about. The descriptions and the guy. The first entry was the address or the number of. We have a Juan boy. Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Not cool. Not cool. Sure do, all. Phelps. Your bird's an interview too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. <laughs> Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. Mouthpiece torch stripped off me at the grand jury. Case is thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Uh, okay. Two. Two. One. Hello, About Juan. Time. Oh, wow. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm yes, Detective sir. Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Not Have so you any senior. idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. <laughs> okay. Um... Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. Yeah, we, as we soon as I there. can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Yeah, we went there and left immediately. Let's have a look at your face. Just pulling away, looking away. Um, nodding to yourself. Uh, well, I've got. Uh, it's got to be doubt because I've no way of proving that. You bought the car. Do I? What's your name? Um, registration. Registered an Argentinian consulate. It could be anyone. Is this your notebook? A notebook of creepy. Ah, are you the creep? You're Valdez, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, so. It's bought a be... Packard, Valdez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. Jesus, Cole. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Mm. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Consul General, we have located your car. <laughs> Can you tell us how it was stolen? 
It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. Um... Yeah, you're doing that same... shifty-eyed... smiling, nodding... doubt again. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you gonna tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Oh, no, it's not going to be... Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. How do you know this, Gabriel? Wait, hold on. Where are you going? Oh, no. You have not been dismissed. Uh, okay, good. Let's have a look at this. William Dewey. Is that the... Are you sure that you are in possession of all the facts? Gabriel. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. I don't comes remember if I said the name Gabriel. What are you thinking? Oh, you're doing the rock? Look it away, head down, yeah. Okay, so you don't know... You don't know this guy. He was in the notebook. I want to know if... Ah, oh, fuck. I'm not sure. I'm gonna use intuition. Then ask the community. Okay, no. Remove an answer for me. Damn it. That didn't help. Well, I knew it wasn't telling the truth. That didn't help much. I can back out of a lie, can't I? You fuck young boys, Valdez. <laughs> Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Okay, yeah, it's gotta be... It's gotta be the book. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Mmm. Ring the bell. Slim hips. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Yeah, me re rearranging your Gabriel. fucking face, you disgusting Spill piece it. of shit. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. Yeah, as if money. We'll be in touch. Console. Uh, <sighs> Need a drink. Can we get a little we bit? We got the jitters again. No, we can't. Okay, we can't get feisty. I can't punch him. Right. Uh, what the hell did I just learn? <laughs> what did we go? Okay, we need to go back to the dealership. Yeah, definitely. Sweet. Going to church we just gonna leave him in there? More Christian than standing in I want to make homicide. You know you made it if you can get that. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him. In a couple of hours. <laughs> Yeah, let it boys get any on the side? That bum you can know the way. You can drive. I put him down with my staff. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. <laughs> See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That as well. All right, back to the car dealership. Oh, I'm walking into a lamppost because I thought it was the other guy. Um, is he in here? Oh, uh, sorry to keep you waiting, but thank you very much. I wonder if his mood has changed, considering that I've been away for ages. We've got clue music again. Am I supposed to be looking around? Ah, we're missing. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. 
Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. No? Oh, oh, oh Jesus Christ. That's not right. Do I really have to? Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Wrong size. Yes, I know. Thank you very much, Cole, for that insightful One left. input right there. Yeah, so Gabriel... Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. Oh, it's not missing. We know where it is. Um... I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. This is going to be of no use to anyone. Not sure this means much. Yeah. Just random tools. Okay. Is this? No. Can't be, can it? Circumstantial. Any of these? No good. We need diplomatic plates. Yeah, I thought so. Nail file? No, not... Nothing of interest. Where else can I actually look around? Uh, where do they keep the tires? And will they let me in here? If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Okay, association with Valdez. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Hmm. You don't look very happy about that. You don't know Valdez. Have I got proof otherwise? Uh. Valdez testifies to accepting bribes during a transaction with William Dewey. Were you William? I don't remember your name. Sorry. I think you're lying. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. You Me and Valdez? Friends. I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. <laughs> We've talked to Valdez. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement the two of you had, and now quit wasting our time. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal, and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Hmm. Do you know where Gabrielle is? Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Shift. Oh, shifty eyes. Very, very shifty eyes. Okay. None of these. No. Doubt, I guess. Oh, yeah. You look. You look. Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Okay. And what about Gabriel? A wrench from this dealership was used wrench. to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. like you're being honest. I'm not sure. I don't know. 
Uh, well, a minute ago you said you want to beat up Gabrielle. Is that because you know that his wrench is missing? I'm gonna say don't. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it! You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. Okay. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs, and they have less attitude. Downside is, they're a little light-fingered. Mm. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. <laughs> I'm just an honest car salesman. <laughs> Seems <laughs> like you just don't know who you can trust these days. You've not, you've not told the truth. Go into movies, time. Dewey. You're missing your calling. We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. Yeah. What are we going to learn there? Can you drive to this one? Uh, where are we going? Oh, he said empty lot. Yeah, let's go to Gabriel's house. Gabriel? Gabriel? I don't know. I don't know. Mexican. That's uh, Jacob's. You read this story in The Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. The vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. Oh, lips not That's moving. ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color, and look what we have now. Yeah, I guess they didn't spend a lot of time on the motion capture for the faces while they're driving. Oh, well. Yeah, about the faces in this game, they look okay. Like, this game is, it's what, like, ten, nine or ten years old now? So it's age barely okay. Motion capture, not so much. And, uh... Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our archangel hasn't already flown. Hmm. Hey, that's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Yeah. What the hell is this guy doing? Okay. Started walking towards me then. I was like, bro, you better step back. All right, what are we... Can I go in here? Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The handle was gold, so I just assumed I could go in. Here we go. Alright, who's Yet! Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Uh, yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here? Ms. Rodriguez. No. Rod oh, what do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Okay, let's have a nosy around. So how far Maybe along are you, Anna? Is. She's pregnant. So she is? Nearly 20 weeks. Right. Uh, so how's it going to be when you go into labor to... and he's not around? Can I turn that off? You are no? wrong about Gabriel. Right. He will be a good father. Already he worked hard to provide for us. Two meals. Serving Unless breakfast for two, here, Anna, Anna, you should have cleared up. Seen Papa for a very long time. Okay. Was he here recently? I wonder if I should step outside and... Lamp's still on. Bit of a mess. You've got... A drink on one side. Book on the other. So, yeah, someone's definitely sleeping here. What's this? Little Jesus Doesn't bridge. tell me anything. Or... Uh, Virgin Mary, I guess. I don't know. One of the two. Some random religious thing. Picture of a car. Oh, we know that Rodriguez likes cars. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Huh. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. We 
You really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. The Packard? I mean, the car. What's, what, what can I learn there? Let's see if Gabriel's here. Gabriel? Maybe he's working in the garage. Hello? In the shed, I guess. Nobody here? Okay. Um. Oh, hello. Packard tires. Oh, no. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Wait, we're actually helping Valdez out. Ah, oh, Jesus. Being a cop sucks sometimes. None of these will be useful, surely. This isn't what we're looking for. No. Just... Oh. Junk. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, hello, 706. Yes, that's the one. It's definitely Gabriel. Diplomatic license plates. Hmm. Uh-oh. Gabriel's in trouble. Is that just another random tool? Yeah, I think so. Okay, music stopped, so it's time to go and talk to Anna, I think her name was. Anna Rodriguez. Rodriguez. What are you doing? What are you nosing about? Game won't let me pull out my handgun. I really want to stop that kettle. Okay, let's. You're in chat. serious trouble, yeah, Miss Rodriguez. Rodriguez. But Gabriel <laughs> is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Sure. Okay. Motive for auto theft. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Mm. She she looks angry. But I have I've no reason to believe that she's actually that she's done anything wrong. Or that she knows why. Yeah, okay. His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Right. When did I see him? Tell us the truth, Anna. Has <laughs> Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Or, okay. Then you're cheating on him, then. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Full of shit again. I know that he's here. Because of these breakfast plates. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. And this morning? He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Diplomatic place recovered. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in a shed. Add in the assortment of parts and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. We'd like to. I know nothing of these car parts. Okay. You're doing a little sister si oh. oh, I don't like that look she gave me. Not at then all. tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. Jesus Christ. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. Hmm. Is that a we'll put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. That sounds like a street race to me. Yeah. It's gotten out of hand this last year. 
No wonder Delgado oh. has such an eye for fine automobiles. Isn't that uh, you know one of the flags is. from Let's the front of the diplomatic car? And get them off the street. Argentinian flag. <laughs> I guess I missed that one. There's probably multiple clues that uh, lead to stuff. Hey, that's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Yeah, you said that on my way in. Have you, uh, have you boys been smoking dope? You seem rather forgetful. Alright, where are we going now? I have no idea. Back to the line. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Do we know race. where we're going? Oh, God, we're not racing, are we? Oh, please don't make me drive. <laughs> what kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Steam. Are you talking from experience? Oh, fuck Who am I after? There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right oh, there. Course. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street break. Stay on Delgado. I'm gonna getting away! You. Gonna lose it. Oh no. Oh no. Quick as we shut <laughs> one of these races down, <laughs> another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to oh, sell them. Geez. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamp. I thought I could do like a. The next 16 year old I have to deal off the sidewalk, you're calling them. I've had enough of those to last in the way. No, I hit him, man. Oh, sorry, lady. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. I'm pressing W as hard as I can. He won't go down anymore. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Uh oh. Come on, you're getting creamed by a kid in a red fort. Hands up. Don't you run. Oh. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? Oh. I should have burned his fucking car! Is he... did he steal his car for payback for what Valdez did or tried to do to him? You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Thank you very much, sir. It was great. Apart from those two people I ran over. <laughs> and all those cars I wrecked. Oh, fucking hell. What's my, what my damage is going to be? Jesus. Okay, I missed two clues. A hundred bucks in injuries. Not bad. Not bad. Argentini Arge blah, blah, blah. Argentinian Consul General Juan Valdez gets his packet back. Oh, wait, I don't... So, after all that, Valdez, Valdez actually ended up better off than before. Fuck. Okay. Well, that's, that's not great. Do you have any plans for Weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. 
I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Okay. Marriage made in heaven. Oh. Oh, that reminds me of like five minutes ago when I was running people down, running people down the streets. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit-and-run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Yeah, I'm yes, thinking sir. of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down one round. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. I'm sure the voice is coming from him, but his mouth isn't moving. Oh, wow. Where the hell is this guy gave his wife a tap. I'd say all's fair I've in love and war. I've already forgotten where we're going. But it's probably okay. His uh, print. And he still confessed. My own personal taxi man. I don't here. want to be rude, but I ain't got time for talk. Oh, I didn't want to drive. You can drive. It's gonna take a while to get in the car anyway. And where are we going? Looks like the DA is gonna press charges. Any more location? Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. All righty. What do we have here? Race Cafe, 4.27 a.m. Wow, we It's a late one, isn't it? Detectives, over here. Mm hmm. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, name of Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. She's 24 years old. She left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll you take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Okay. Well, am I just... Phelps? Casually take a look at the body. The <laughs> Poor guy didn't stand a chance. Um, yeah, maybe. I ended on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Um, well, let's check his pockets. California Fire and Life. Dear Mr. Patterson, is, it is... Blah, 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 I can't speak. 
It is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F and pre-approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy. Oh, from 370 per week to... Yeah, okay. It's from... Yeah, okay. Addison has life insurance. This new plan secures your benefic beneficiaries a sum of $16,000. What the fuck? Okay, so... He's just taken out life insurance and he gets hit by a car outside of a bar. What are the like? What's the chance that that is an accident? You know where he lives? We can notify next of kin. Okay. Any money? Was he uh, planning to go to a strip club, I suppose? Not for very long. Have a look at the face, I guess. Mm, mm, I can't really make anything out. Any rings? Or... I guess not. Oops. Yeah, it's just a bit finicky. Let's have a look at the other hand. Nothing of interest. Lots of bruises. Lots of blood. Hmm. What okay. have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Chest wound? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Yeah, I suppose there is a lot of concentrated blood in the chest, isn't there? Um, you'd think that his head would have suffered a bit more trauma if it was death on impact. I guess? I don't know. Uh, long blood trail. He was hit. Maybe dragged. Quite Body a traveled a good 20 feet. Fast car. Or a heavy car? I don't know. Another day, another dollar. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Hmm. How far is that, do you reckon? They did try to break. So the driver managed to break before the impact. But they still hit him for miles. Okay. No. He's all yours, detective. Oh. Uh, Cole, would you mind? I'm trying to, uh... Okay, I guess next contract there. Where is... Another spark plug in a bowl. Okay. Uh, this does not look like an accident. A knife covered in blood. That might be the could chest wound. Could be a wound. steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Yeah, definitely. Whatever, you, whatever he just said, I don't know. Did any of you clowns see anything? Oh, music stops. I guess not. Right, let's go talk to... Um, the girl whose name is not a stage name. Miss Perry? Yes? Perry. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my Shannon partner, Perry, Detective Bukowski. Uh, what happened? Can you tell us what happened? Well... I uh, came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Mm-hmm. No, that's an honest face. Stone cold. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Uh, 
What did the car look like? Did it have a prominent hood ornament, or was it going too quickly to see it? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Yeah, I believe you. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Three C eight. Three C eight. There was an argument over it. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices, a man and a woman. That's all. Hmm. Oh. Nah, I'm not buying. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. Trying to find work as an actress, and things look pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. <laughs> People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very That's embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? <laughs> I hope you find that driver and put him away. Well, the driver got away with the dames, well, I mean, the, the, Yeah, he did run away, I suppose. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. It's him again. You're the bum that was outside the other bar. Uh, who are you? Who cares? All right, what's up, bartender? I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run oh, the place when the kidding. owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Mm. Tell us about the incident. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Well, if the girl from upstairs heard the argument, you must have heard something, and your face is not stone cold and down. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Hmm. How'd you know the victim? Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Okay. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Hmm. <laughs> Tell us about the argument. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Yeah. And you're not being truthful, but I don't know whether you... Well, I've already, yeah, I've already, I've already mentioned the witness, so... That's gonna come in handy. I'm gonna go with doubt for now, because you've got very dishonest. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo. Leroy the Sabo. Owner. Okay. Tell us about the joint business. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Hmm. Well, if they're reg... Yeah, come on, dude. If they're regulars. Nodding, yeah. Assuring yourself, looking at... Yeah. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. Okay. You get anything out of the regulars? Hmm. They weren't giving too much away. 
They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Oh, no. Okay, then, well, um, excuse me. The phone is popped up on the minimap, so let's use the phone. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, three Charles eight. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Yeah, how many of those cars are going to be in, in L.A.? Only one possible make on that license. <laughs> Registered to a William Shelton. Okay. 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. 738 West Temple Street. Righty-ho. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Ain't that right? Just, just a pickle peach. It's not my car. My car's across the street. You're behind the wheel. So oh, where do you want to go? Um, mm, I don't know. Let's go to, go to the first one. We are already at Ray's Cafe, aren't we? Let's go to the Patterson residence. in the morning, so whether they'll actually be awake, who knows. Lights are on. Before we go in, let's have a look around. Nothing of interest. Let's try going in. Leave my partner out back. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. You are weirdly dressed up. Is this up about my husband? Almost five in the morning. We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Okay. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You seem real broken up. You don't him. appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's wow. that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time <laughs> you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Right. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. <laughs> All right, wise guy. <laughs> Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? Uh, yes. You can few, confirm actually. Mrs. Patterson's story. Yes, please. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. Yeah, I'll bet. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. <laughs> Okay, tell us about the hit and run incident. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. That is one ugly, smug looking. But I can't prove otherwise. It has got the prominent hood thing. I suppose. Yeah, I can't prove otherwise. I know you're not, I know you're not telling the truth though, because look at her face. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me, 
He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. What were you arguing about? You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Hmm. Swallowing, looking, well, how about, mm. <sighs> I don't know, I'm going to go with doubt, because I'm not sure. Admit it, you were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Hmm. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. And who's The bartender this said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Okay, very shifty eyes. Oh, yes. Of course. Of course you have money. He just did the fucking life insurance thing, didn't he? You wicked, wicked woman. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Uh, yes. I do, actually. You increase the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was, it was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, pinochle, you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. Yeah. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sure. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. <laughs> you sarcastic bastard. All right. Um, uh, apparently there's a phone in here. You wouldn't mind. I'd like to have a look around. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, a knife. Just like the one you stabbed your husband with. Probably. Oh, it's a clue. That's it's yeah no. There's a phone in here somewhere, but I'm not sure where. It's in this room. I don't really like cards too. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. How can I help, Detective? Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Pattison autopsy. Right, yeah. How Thank drunk you. was he? Because, uh, just stumble into the road like that and die on impact instantly? Bye! Uh, you'd have to be absolutely plastered, wouldn't you? So let's, uh, mosey on down to the morgue. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Los Angeles County Road. Come to me, all you. And I missed the rest. Is this it? We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. That'll be the Second knife. puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. 
No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. Oh, yeah, I mean like this one. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. I don't know why we didn't bring this up sooner. We have the knife, knife. we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. That knife seems like... Let's bring her in. Important. You know, it's not often that you find a really, really bloody knife. Like, 30 feet away from a dead body with suspicious chest wounds. But whatever. Where are we, where are we going now? You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? It's got to be the Patterson Buildings, right? You know what? I actually don't know. I think we're just going to go to a rest now. Apprehend Lorna, yeah. Was it Lorna Patterson or was it. What was the other guy's name? Um, you can drive. Uh. Sabo? Lee, was it Lee Sabo? Sabo something, I think. I'm sure the woman was Patterson. Uh, hello again. You're under arrest. We've spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. Ooh. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very no. good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. Oh, all that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, really how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. the bases covered, baby. I have nothing to do, do with You think it. I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake. Oh, it's no. too late, Sabo. Oh, why am I not running? I'm hoping that I can apprehend this clown. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Let me shoot you. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. Can I just put one round on his leg or something? Uh, last chance to surrender, Sabo. Oh. Bugger. Don't you dare get away. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Oh, don't make me do Come this. Come on, Flatfoot, let's negotiate. How long do you think you can hold out? <laughs> oh, you bastard. Fucking hell, did I just shoot that woman in the head? Fucking hell. I should, should I shot his leg? I don't know. I can't really strafe, can I? Are we doing this again? We've spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. Ah, uh, it's unskippable as well. Okay. We'd like you to come downtown and answer. Yeah, is there an option? Gameplay. Actions? No. Can I skip cutscenes options? Is that? What's it? it wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Pa Leroy Pa's stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? Back. He's, probably He's a in the bedroom. Now. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you oh, don't Cole's stand married. a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning. How to get him into the street? How to make it look like an accident? For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Covered, baby. I have nothing to do, do with it. Do you think I'm gonna fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him! Shoot him! For God's sake! Oh. It's too late, Sabo. Now I'm just sprinting. I'm coming for you, bastard. Sabo, 
Bravo. Stop or I will shoot. Yeah, they're not enough... Not enough, uh... Straights. Whatever that thing is. In that filling circle, I'm guessing. Uh, please don't. Come on, Flatfoot, let's negotiate. Again. Put the weapon down, now! Help me! Well, he's dead, but we can at least get... Lorna, I think her name was. Yeah. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Hmm. Well, that was uh, not ideal. Although we did get the confession from Miss Patterson. So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, Detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Nobody's going to want to go to that bar anymore. Marriage made in heaven. Whew. Valorous. Nice. The car did not kill less of you. Allow the driver to duck a failure to, to a stop charge. Wait, what? Oh, I never followed up on the owner of the car. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Not, my elbows are not sharp enough. Slip of the tongue. Well, actually, it's about 10 o'clock here. Um, and I think that I'm going to take a break, get some food, go to sleep, and I'll probably continue playing tomorrow. Um... My Twitch stream manager thingy says that I've had one viewer. Don't know how accurate that is, but I've been going for three hours. So if you are watching, thank you very much. Hope you found it entertaining. Um, good night. Uh, I'm now slowly alt tabbing. All right, all right. See ya. Bye bye.